Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Aniela Guedes, the CEO and founder of Urban 3D. Urban 3D was born in the slums of Brazil. There are 8 million people nowadays in lack of adequate housing in my country. Adequate housing would be having access to water, sanitation, structurally sound structures to live in, uh, not being overcrowded, and have tenure of living. But this is not an exclusive problem in Sao Paulo. It's everywhere in every city of the world. And this number is going to grow by 3 billion. Nowadays, we have 3 billion people living in need of house, and this number is going to grow by another 3 billion in the next 35 years. So me as a tech entrepreneur, I was thinking, what could I do about it if I couldn't touch land policy or regulations or even speculation? Current systems are really archaic. The way we build nowadays is not really fast, it's really wasteful, takes a lot of labor and capital. So the industry is changing a lot in the past few years. There are a lot of positive innovations and positive trends happening. The industry is digitizing, so a lot of construction companies nowadays are using BIM software not only to plan, but also to help with their procurements and also to manage the entire production chain of their, not the concrete slabs, but the entire building. Also, a lot of companies are automating and using prefabrication methods. A lot of companies in the developing world are also verticalizing their production chains and actually uh, getting rid of subcontractors and building from scratch the entire building. So as you're familiar with, most of the world still builds with brick and mortar. There are other methods like steel frame, wood frame, prefab, on-site, and also in factories, but those processes do not allow for a lot of flexibility or either automation, which ultimately reflects in cost and time. Our solution is a fully automated production of walls and slabs in concrete, just like this one. This tile was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, and it was only possible to make with marble. Without technology, you can have geometry free and not only print concrete, but other materials as coconut fibers and other, other natural fibers and also get rid of cement and rebar. I'll pass this on so people can see it. Yeah. So this is the robotic side of it. A robotic arm would print the molds for concrete walls and slabs and then fill them with concrete. Also, you can use other materials, as I said, that could be parametrized and localized. We also have an RFID system that goes into this lab and can track it through the, throughout the entire process, from the factory to the construction site to the life of the wall. I'll now walk you through the entire process. So an architect or engineer would design the entire project in BIM, and the robot, the robotic arms, the orange ones, like a KUKA, as you can see over there, would read the project and determine what kinds of walls they would be able to print, if they're concrete, if they're metal, and then it would print the mold geometry free, and then it would pour concrete inside of it. You let it dry, and then it receives a RFID tag, and then whenever it leaves the factory, you could track it, uh, you could geolocate it and track it throughout the process of construction. Uh, this kind of technology allows to build uh, until up 15 stories. The benefits are, first of all, cost reduction and speed. You can actually build with that a 15-story building in 50 days, one floor a day. They're also around 30 or 40 percent cheaper because they use recycled concrete. This tile that I'm passing around is made of 100 percent recycled concrete. You also have flexibility of design. So you basically can design whatever you want. If you want a wall, for example, that has in bed like pipes and windows and all those kinds of things, you can also design them and the printer would make the way you want. You, you wouldn't need to have then to contract someone to cut your wall and then install the pipes and windows and etc. And also you could trace all the bottlenecks of the production and throughout the entire life cycle of a war. So what is our business model then? We are a company, we have a business model, we sell the robots to construction companies and developers who are willing to backward, web, backward integrate. We also license the software, the planning software for architects and engineers who are willing to design with our technology. And we also are looking into possibilities of using data and sell it to governments and other institutions. So from the 17 uh, sustainable development goals, 
urban 3D addresses at least 11. We are aligned with all the global urgency, not only for housing, but for the, all the other second and third knock-on effects that housing and adequate infrastructure would bring to people's lives. What a, an urban uh, 3D world would look like, it's a merge of new technologies, architecture-free, and new materials in which you could localize your production, make it faster, and then provide adequate housing for all. Our goal wouldn't be achieved only by ourselves and our work, so that's why we need partners from governments to corporations to professionals who are willing to help us in your journey. Thank you.